Hey, GoFox here. Apologize for missing last week's training team. So we got a twofer this week. We got the, the squad here, the low 80s overall, or our highest overall. So obviously Tyree Kill, we need him maxed out because he's the speed our offense relies on. Uh, everything else kind of trending towards that low 80s because after 80 overall, the uh, training is kind of expensive, which we'll probably address here in one of the upcoming episodes. But you guys know how much I like to procrastinate with it. Our ends are still a little bit lower. Defense is still a little bit lower. Still some upgrades I can do there. Um, so if you want to know how we're progressing, we're still at rookie first. We get a, If we win a game, we get 100 training points to upgrade. Um, so if we win up and go up to pro second, that'll double, which is nice. Uh, we, we do need those points. Uh, if we get a rage quit, we get double points. And if we win in the playoffs or Super Bowl, that's triple. So this is the first team I'm going against. Nice. Uh, and here is my team right here. So somebody asked, somebody's like, I was like, oh, do you guys want to see the games that I, I lose in? And somebody kind of was like, yeah, we want to see you lose lose a couple games. So here are the games I know I'm not going to win. Uh, when they're running the ball, uh, and this is what he did the entire drive down the field. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck this, I quit. <laughs> let's get another game. All right, let's get a game. This is their team. So he's got 80 overalls, um, some new cards. So pretty evenly matched teams, but... We know when it's evenly matched, it's not necessarily evenly matched, as you will see in this video. So he returns it. Look at how slow these cards are. Like, compare this to like, like my regular gameplay, or my reviews on Mutt cards, or like the Twitch streams or anything like that. My goodness gracious. Like this is this is snails out here. This is like let's salt the snail on this one. Oh! Get right back! <laughs> I felt uh I, I wanted something fancy. I wanted to do something really fancy. So you can see me laughing at the corner there being dumbass um i wanted to pitch it catch it and then pitch it oh i wanted to catch it and pitch it and then then have fun on a return but the next play he throws it deep we pick it off anyway so it's ours again uh it looked like our it was a cover one right there Ooh, kelsey with the with the absolute burner attitude that guy gosh get that guy a phone because he's part of the drug game with that burnerness uh anyways it looked like the post route was open there and we throw that a little late we take a hit but we still get it open kelsey back to back receptions nice work Tom Brady dotting him up. Once once I've gotten to this 80 Tom Brady, I felt a lot more comfortable throwing the ball. Touchdown there on the post route since we... That post route on that time, like I was going to say that first play looked like a, a cover one. Trying up the seam to us. We're uh, we're just playing kind of stock defense here. I don't think really need to do too much more. Hopefully our front four can uh, maybe get home. And he just chucked it right at us. It looked like a double move. He threw it too early. Maybe he's worried about my front four and their big names getting pressure. Nice little uh, what is it, man blitz that he sent at us. Four man rush here. We're still open, so open, so nice and open. So he's running man against us quite a bit, zoning, mixing it up. But we're just, we're, we're Tom Brady in the pocket. Finding the open guy, donning up. That's why I like, I like the Saints, you know, I have the Saints ebook. Uh, I, I oftentimes run run heavy. Run heavy is more of an intermediate type passing system. Whereas the Saints, I can run out of tight slots. And, and I feel like I can run a lot more quick passes. It's much more effective against, say, say like many rushes that are really quick. So we're just kind of like shoving it down his throat here. Um, we're hoping for a rage quit, trying to make it happen soon. Now he's checking out of the flats. Nice, going to the flats is always a good idea. If you can take your 10 yards, of course take that. Like, with the amount of blitzing people do uh, in this game, yeah, definitely take your, your, your quick yards. So there we are, we're setting five, just with like a straight five-man rush. Here we are setting three, backing off, making him try and pick up part our holes. Um, you know, you know, piles are the only natural enemy of holes. Uh, I learned that one on The Simpsons. Uh, so we're doing a quarterback spy there. A little hour out, nice work. Lattimore force a fumble, end this game. I think we, 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 I feel like we could take him. And no animation. With a squad this low, I, I don't expect the animations to be exactly smooth. We're not Pixar here with, with 80 overall cornerbacks, 70 something overall players. Here we are, God. That is like the little engine that could. The, the guys that are running on the field from here, there. Yoink! Eric Berry with the pick, 14 0. And can we get it all the way? Can you serve us? Do we want a burger this way, that way? Oh yeah, we want it all the way. 10 yards to glory, and we have paradise by the dashboard light. So that ends up triggering what you guys want to see the most, what I want to see the most. A rage quit for the couple hundred points. Let's get on with it. Stop gloating, there it is. I was going to say stop gloating, but he ended up being pure conceded. All right, so look at our receivers. Obviously, we want to upgrade Tyree Kill. So we got 200 training points in the bucket. We're at 208 right now. Uh, we're looking at what it would take to upgrade. So it was 83 quick sells for 200. So it would take us 200 on the dot to get his 83. The problem is I got to use five training points um, just to get past his uh, physical chemistry. So I, I, I would need 205 um, 
training points, so I can I only have 195 left, so I can't upgrade his card right there to 92 speed. So we're gonna have to find alternative upgrades. We are what we're gonna do is bank 100 points uh, for next upgrade, so that way I can just use the 200 after next win. Um, so here it is, tier six. We'll take 40 on Sherman. We'll upgrade our corners. We do need them up a little bit, so that's 45 and. I think we're going to do that on Sherman, and let's see who else we're going to put it on. Mr. Ramsey. So we'll do we'll do symmetrical additions to both sides. We'll add 90 on each side, um, so that we're 45, 45. Uh, go back. We got a little 10 more to add. Let's see who else we want to add a little uh, sugar and spice and everything nice to. We might just add it and get rid of people's physical chemistry slots. Just get them out of the way. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Put it on uh, Mr. Barry. Um, but yeah, after 82, it really it really uh, really goes up in price and. I don't know. Are we advancing quick enough? To not quick enough? Um, so on, like so, yeah. Let me know. Let's get into the next game though. We have 100 100 points left. No, never mind. I hit it on the goal. We have 100 points left. So here's the next guy's squad. Uh, pretty solid squad. 90, uh, 93 overall is highest. 91s for the top three. Probably like a high 80 squad. I would assume for overall. Mine's sitting in what the 70s. I actually didn't look. So kicking it off for the start of our second game for the two for episode. He's going to a cover three. We try to go a cover three beater there. Uh, it didn't work with the post route. Let's try something again. I should know. Don't do not do those like cover three beaters with this squad. It just doesn't work. Either they're not fast enough to get there. Although Tyreek can do it fast enough. Dives definitely don't work with this squad against a high-end squad. Because we can't run block at all. Um, so driving it down, driving it down. We try to beat her again for some weird reason. And throw it out of bounds. Nice, nice quick release by Tom. That's the one nice thing about Tom Brady. I think he's had the quickest release in the game. I don't even think it's that close. We tried running uh, passes. Look at Tom going for a Sunday stroll. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, run outside. Nice lock it down. That's an easy 20, 30, 40, 40 yards as we finally drag him down. We're going to try and stop him in the uh, red zone with this squad. Yeah. With a better user, we get that pick. Unfortunately not. So he is in the red zone already. Two plays already out here. Run the ball off the edge. Bobby Wagner makes, makes the play. Use ring Bobby. Oh, he wanted to throw it. You can see he really wanted to throw that. But we had to use it all the way. Chase him down. Sheds the tackle, gains four yards, fumbles, and we get the ball back. We desperately needed that. Like, we need turnovers. If we're going to be higher overall squad, we need turnovers mightily. Uh, so, we got to be smart on offense, wise on defense, throw it. The drag finally got open to Tyreek. That was crazy. What was that? Was that uh, Tyreek against Lawrence Taylor? And anyway, I barely beat Lawrence Taylor. I mean, that's how powerful that card is. Like, it just, it could do everything. Yeah, I know it's got bad zone coverage. We hit up the middle. Green grass and high tides in front of us. AJ Green, can you make it? Can you make it? Can you make it? Go, 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 go. Oh, he got greedy. Went for the strip animation. I didn't fumble. That hasn't been overpowered since the last, what, two patches ago. Uh, I guess two, like, big patches ago. Kick it off short. Uh, this is prior to the latest patch. Now, watch this guy on this kick return coverage. Watch this genius. Watch what he does. He's the outside contain, and he goes inside. So he's the outside contain on kick coverage. And he just falls around, goes inside, and we hang our head and cry. Johnny Cash sings the song, so we get styled on here at the end. Uh, he really wants to rub it in that he did a kick return touchdown. I gotta, I, 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 I gotta do something about kick returns. They're, they're ridiculous right now. There's way too many kick return touchdowns. Uh, Beckham, nice to the edge. Gurley, we actually tosses work. I think because bum blocking block shot doesn't matter that much except for the outside guys. So tosses work with this squad, but interior runs, dives. Unless they really spread out everybody or like pass commit with only a few people there, do not. We try low throwing that. His low throws, his pass leads are still an issue. So that's a big issue with accuracy. We take a sack. So it's fourth and seven. Do we clutch it up? Can we clutch it up? What's our clutch play? What's our clutch play? No. Crossing pattern. I think that was a dagger. That was a dagger call. Uh, that was a clutch play. No, it didn't work. So we don't have any faith about being able to stop him like in the middle of the field. So we uh, try. Let's get to the goal line. See if we can stop the run. He tosses outside. Is he able to run outside of us? Spins back. We were able to use it. One minute left in the first half. We flood the end zone with defenders, with a spy, he tries to throw it high. He didn't even throw it high, he just throws it right at us. We'll take the ball to 25, so luckily that we're making mistakes, that he is also making a, a similar amount of mistakes. Kind of lucky with a squad like this. Like Generally you say you can't make mistakes with a squad like this, but clearly that's not the case because I'm making plenty of them. I guess Madden's, feel, Madden's game of like trying to make plays but not making mistakes. Like It's easy to say just don't make mistakes, but in the end it's like you need to execute. You can't just not make mistakes in this game. Uh, so Beckham with the double clutch drop, you know, talk about making a mistake right there. We like this post play. I'm kind of a fan of it. I'm kind of a fan of that mesh 
and then uh, move a guy over. So, three seconds left in the first half. We will take our points, go up by three. So, at the end of the half, we are leading. Let's hopefully we can hold it for the second half here. Outside the pocket, nice scramble, easy. Our defensive back, Sherman, doesn't react. We didn't expect them to with their low zone, low smarts. Uh, with my high-end squad, I know they do the same thing, don't react. It's more frustrating with guys that you know should be making plays than guys that uh, you know don't make plays. Right at us again. Sherman co totally redeemed himself with that pick. And a uh, nice little uh, return, no fumble. So, back. He's still making mistakes, throwing right at us. Beautiful. Ooh, we had the post route open too. Green, who scantered for that touchdown earlier. Back on the field, making nice little check downs, not fumbling, taking hits to the ankles. We're checking it out once again. Third and short. Most of our stuff is short. Uh, because, uh, I don't know, we don't, we don't we don't like to pay people. I'm a, I'm a little short this 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 month. So we tried again with the toss to Gurley. His user got out there and stopped it pretty quickly. Um, his user is, what, faster than every single card I have on my team. Maybe not faster than Tyreek. Woo! Talk about Tyreek. Takes a hit, takes it down. Lovely, lovely hang on. He got a bad animation to stop that. We went into coverage there, and uh, he, he knocked it. So we didn't get bailed out. We got punished for our mistake. We really tried to dot it in there with somebody who doesn't have that. But we stop him there, the one yard line. So we're sending the house. We're sending it all. And our, our cornerback blitz got a safety. So we're up by five. He needs a touchdown in order to beat us. He hasn't shown his ability in the red zone quite yet to do that. So we just need to take up time with this fourth quarter. Sack. Nice coverage. We're, I, I just don't. I think I run bench and I shouldn't. Bench just doesn't work this year. It's not Madden 17 anymore, Fox. Stop. It's time to stop running bench. It's not an effective play uh, against most coverages. It wasn't in an 18 because of 91 zone. It's not in 19 because they feel like they play it better unless they're in like soft squats. So we could just get spent, caught around. And we hang our head and cry once again. Usering Sue. Oh man. Not even a boy named Sue could stop us. Right at us. Woo! Bad timing drop pick. Do you think we would have actually picked that if we if we wouldn't have had a bad timing drop pick? I don't know. So he's rolling out and throwing corner outs. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Roll out again. Nice. I mean, that's a lot of people's uh, system and it has been for years. That time he throws it deep. Don't test. Don't test us deep. We got superstars back there. We got. We got the. Was it? What does that get? Mary Kay. I don't know. I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna answer. I don't even know her name. That superstar with uh, Mary Catherine Gallagher. There it is. Hill once again. That time we get a bad animation. Ruin ourselves. So we've decided to punt it. Make him drive the field on us. So Hill one for two on catching those crossers. I mean. Did I expect more? Kind of. He's my number one. I was hoping for not a good... I, I wish there was a way I could... Like, last year you had a way to avoid those by possession catching because you went down. But possession catching was kind of powerful last year. So, I'm fine that you can land hit six on possession catching. It's just sad. Just sad that they take, like, ten yards away from you and, and can hit stick you. Whew. Almost had the user there. Almost. And fourth and short. Fourth and three. Pick! We decide to run it all the way. Sherman! 39 seconds. We don't get there. So 36 seconds there. Uh, what's nice about that, he decides not played out. So we count it as a rage quit. That is so beautiful. We go from 100 points to 200 smackaroos with that pick non-six. Uh, so let's upgrade the squad. We get that Tyreek squad. We get to go, we get to bypass, well not bypass, we're paying for his training. So we get the 200 points plus the 100 that we already banked. So we have 300 points to spend. We end up uh, upgrading Mr. Tyreek here before having to go to our binder and doing more. There I am, being so psyched about the upgrade. We're getting up to 92 speed. He'll be our number one, right? Oh, he'll be our best receiver for a long time on this squad. I don't think after this, because it's going to take 500 training points to get to his 87. We don't get that much speed increase once we get to 87. Like, the next real speed increase on the Tyreek really, really takes a while. Because, you know, next up to the tier 9 item, we'll we get to 93 speed. So, really not worth it. I don't expect Tyreek to go up much at all. For the foreseeable future so he is locked in i'd say right there uh tom brady after getting an extra uh extra points we got 100 uh we might want to increase him increase the throw power a little bit try and try and fit it between a little bit more of those uh small windows 140 for his next upgrade to the next tier uh we're gonna increase who who are we gonna increase looking at defensive ends the pass rushing ends they'll be our pass rushing defensive tackles and like a nickel formation they patched our big nickel blitz, so we can no longer use that to cheese our way out of games. Um, upgrade the 10. Uh, we're up to, what, high 70s now. 80 will be our next upgrade. Uh, defensive line. I'd say m more now than ever, defensive line up matters in Madden. I kind of like that. I kind of like where the defensive line is at right now. As offensive linemen get better and overall in pass block, run block, 
I think the pressure is going to slow down from natural four-man pass rush pressure. It's pretty hot right now, um, so we are going to upgrade our defensive tackle too because hopefully we can get pretty stiff in the middle because that's, uh, well, that's where we make our bread is being stiff in the middle. So that's it for the episode. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the extra long episode of the team. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.